Hello there, David here, and welcome back to my channel for yet another video on the topic of home security. Today, we're going to take a deeper look into ZoneMinder and see what it's capable of. Let's get started. Thank you very much to all the new subscribers that joined on in the last month or so. That's over 90 of you. And for those of you that aren't subscribed, about 95% of my viewers aren't yet subscribed. So if you enjoy watching content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel for more videos. In my last video, I showed off my Zone Minder installation running on my Unraid server. For those of you that haven't seen this video yet, I will include a card on the screen right now. I highly recommend taking a look at it, as it goes over the basis of how I set the server up. Zone Miner can also be installed on any Linux or Debian platform. I chose to install it on Unraid because that's what I had available to me. So when installing ZoneMinder, choose the option that's best suitable for you. Now let's get into ZoneMinder. There were comments on the first video of this series stating that I didn't show how to install ZoneMinder, so I'll do that here. The very first thing we have to do is enable Docker. Go to Settings, Docker, make sure this is set to Yes. In order to install ZoneMinder, we have to add a plugin called Community Applications. Down below there's a link that we can copy and then the install plugin here, we can paste it and install. Once you install this, you'll have a section show up here called Apps. These are all the Docker containers that are managed by the community and a few of them are managed by Unraid. So in the search bar, search for ZoneMinder. I'm using the ZoneMinder container by DLandon. Down here will be an install button, but since mine's already installed, I can't install it again. Once installed, we can go to the Docker section here, and if you scroll down, we can click on ZoneMinder and click on Web UI. Upon logging in, we are greeted with the console. This console lists the four cameras that I have set up, their IP addresses, and here I have all the motion that has been detected in the last hour, day, week, and month. I'm going to show how to add an RTSP camera, as those are the ones that I have. So clicking add will bring up the same as if I click the source for one of the cameras I already have set up. My cameras run at 25 frames per second. If you'd like to, you can limit this to as low as 1 FPS. There are also a 720p camera. Just like the frame rate, you could also change the capture width and height, perhaps lowering it to 480p to save on storage. This is the RTSP path for the first camera. Notice that channel is 1. In the other cameras, they go channel 2, 3, and 4. In order to increase the performance of the events recorded when motion gets detected, I disabled Save JPEGs and enabled Video Writer using the H264 camera pass-through option. The Buffers tab is really important, as it will determine how many frames get captured before and after an event occurs, as well as how many frames are required to trigger an event. If you'd like more information on each little section, I'm going to include the ZoneMinder documentation, which has detailed information about every little section. The other very important option is the function option, which you can get to by clicking here. Here you can choose between five different modes, all of which are explained in great detail in the documentation. I have two of my cameras set to mode detect, which will record any detected motion. The other two cameras are simply set to monitor so that I can view their streams. Depending on how your cameras are positioned, you may or may not want to record every single thing that walks in the camera's path. For example, my front camera shows a portion of my front yard and my driveway. In this case, I want to record every single motion that gets detected in here. Over in the zone section, I've created a zone that encompasses this entire area. Any motion detected in this area will trigger an event and will record the motion. My front yard camera is different. This is the road here. I don't want every car to trigger an event. This is my neighbor's driveway. I also don't want him leaving and entering his driveway to trigger events. In order to prevent those from happening, I set up a zone that only covers the front yard and my driveway. By default, ZoneMinder saves all events wherever ZoneMinder is installed. In my case, I have an SSD cache installed in Unraid. So when you go to Options, Storage, this is where all the events get stored. If you do have an SSD cache, I highly recommend keeping it on there. Even though my array isn't that large, 
2,000 individual events only take up 8 gigabytes, all of which can be purged within seconds. Okay, that actually took maybe like a minute to delete, but you get the idea. So the reason why it's encouraged for these events to be stored on an SSD is because you don't want ZoneMinder writing constantly to your array. It's much better for the longevity of your system for these events to be recorded on an SSD. Now of course, you don't have to record these events to your Unraid server. Additional storage options are available and you can read more about this in the documentation. If your camera supports pan, tilt, and zoom, then ZoneMinder will also allow you to control that camera. If you would like to monitor your cameras and view the recorded events when you're not home from your mobile device, there is a very great third-party app called ZM Ninja. It is available both for Android and Apple devices. Depending on if you guys like, I could make a video in the future showing you guys how to use and install the ZM Ninja app. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you consider ZoneMinder for your home security needs. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below as it really does encourage me to continue making these videos. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? The subscribe button is down below. And as always, I hope you have a great day.